Hello, sweet friends. It's Tracy. I am sharing a, another project using Dollar Tree supplies. I created this little DIY farmhouse wagon. My first intention was that I was going to do this for fall. Um, but then once I was getting into the little project, I was like, you know what? I think I'm going to leave this kind of like, you know, farmhouse where I can decorate it for fall or I can decorate it for the different seasons. Now I was totally inspired when I was searching Pinterest and I ran across this picture and then it led me to the video. Um, I will link to that in the description box below because I definitely want to give credit um, from where I got the inspiration. I'm a huge advocate for that. I feel that we are all creators that we get inspired by somewhere. So, you know, why not, you know, help out your fellow YouTuber. So anyway, I just wanted to share how I created this little wagon. So let's get into it and let me show you what I did. To start my wagon, I have this tin can that I got at Dollar Tree. Uh, you can get these in the springtime, but you may be like me and have some extra. For the uh, painting of the can, I'm using this Krylon Shortcuts Craft and Hobby paint. It's a spray paint that I've had in my stash for a couple of years, so I'm not quite sure if it's still available. I just took it outside and I just spray painted my um, tin can because I didn't want it to be silver and I wanted it to uh, be a bit rustic. So I'm just starting here um, just by spray painting the little tin can. Now this is how my can turned out. And yes, I kind of scuffed it up a little bit cause I'm impatient. And, uh, so I touched it. Um, anyway, there on the edge of that, I wanted to, um, you know, figure out how I was going to make this a bit more rustic. So I have, um, some mineral chalk paint and these cosmetics sponges or wedges and I I don't have footage of that I apologize but I just went you know and just dabbed it and then just kind of brushed it a little bit now what I'm showing you here is I like to seal all of my projects and this is my favorite sealer I will have a link uh, to it in the description below because that is one of the most common questions that I do get but anyway I am just sealing my um, little wagon here and uh, just uh, you know putting a coat of that on there and then I'll put it to the side to dry okay I wanted to add some rope to give it a bit more rustic um, next to my little wagon if that's even a word <laughs> and to attach the rope I'm using my new little gadget this Gorilla brand glue uh, hot glue gun and the glue sticks now I purchased this at Walmart I wanted to use it before I was able to show y'all in my Walmart haul. Um, but anyway, what I liked about it is of course it was orange and it was cute, but it's a dual um, temperature glue gun and it has a high temp and a low temp. And the high temp is strong for bonding wood, plastic, metal, glass, and more. And then also it has a little low temp where you, if you want to um, attach delicate materials like floral fabric, foam, jewelry, and more. And anyway, this is not really a review. I'm just kind of showing you what I'm doing. And um, after I glued this, the, this rope was on there, so I hope that it stays on there for uh, years to come. Anyway, but I just wanted to show how I use the glue gun just to attach this rope to this little metal can. For the handle of my wagon, I'm using this spatula, also from the Dollar Tree, and I just removed the little hook uh, that was on the end of the handle because I am going to spray that black handle brown and so I didn't want my hook to uh, be brown. So I'm just showing you here how it turned out once it was dry. I didn't care if, if it got on the silver part of it because that's going to be covered up anyway. So then now I'm just adding a layer of gloss varnish. Um, again, the link to this is in the description below because when I paint things, I always get question, what kind of sealer, what kind of varnish do you use? And so this is the one that I use. 
Thinking about what I could use for my wheels, I ran across these rubber mallets over at the Dollar Tree. I brought them home and was going to have my husband cut off the handles, but of course, you know, he had to show me that you could just untwist the little wooden handle and then, you know, I didn't have to cut it. Uh, anyway, so I'm just using my E6000 glue and actually this E6000 is black i did not know that there was such a thing but yes there is um, i purchased it by mistake but it works great for this little project because my uh, wheels are black and so then i can just uh, e6000 those wheels to the bottom of the um, tin can and so i know that some may ask you know, does this sit well? Yes, actually, because I know the rubber mallet uh, heads are round, but there's kind of a, um, a way that it sits even. And so I was very, very pleased with this. So then now I'm just, you know, putting some E6000 on there and then I thoroughly let this dry overnight. I had a bit of mishap. Um, I was trying to, you know, kind of bend my spatula so it would kind of stay in the, stand up a little bit more in there and I ended up breaking it, but that's okay because I really wanted this handle. And so I'm going to show you what I'm going to do to uh, put this, you know, to attach it all to my, my little wagon. My handle was going to be on the inside anyway, even if my, um, you know, little spatula was in there, but that's okay. We'll put that aside. And uh, I just have some green uh, styrofoam from the Dollar Tree. And these, this size right here just fits perfectly here in the little tin can wagon bucket. And uh, so then I'm, I'm going to glue, glue it down a little bit so it stays because I hope to use this little wagon for years to come. So I just have that in there and I'm going to cover that up. Anyway, so for my, um, for my little handle, what I was showing you earlier, I had the, uh, taken the little, uh, this little, uh, handle off and, uh, or this little hook off rather. And so then now I'm just going to, uh, put that back on goes in the little holes right there. And so I spray painted this brown and then I had taken that hook off cause I didn't want it to, uh, you know, get brown on there. So then now I'm just going to figure out how I, see that stays in there just like that. That is no problem at all. And so I'm gonna put some hot glue I took my handle and I gave it an indention down in there. And then I'm gonna stick my handle back in there. And then when I cover up stuff, I put stuff in there, it's going to, you know, secure this even more. I can kind of put some hot glue on this handle. You kind of have it stay like that. And then now it's time to decorate it. Okay, guys, I have some of this Excelsior and I, in, uh, I ended up taking it out of the bag because this plastic bag, they are so loud on a video. And I apologize because sometimes I forget. Uh, so anyway, I just took it out of the bag and then um, it is extremely messy, extremely messy. Anyway. Uh, but I'm okay with that. And so then I'm just going to, you know, just put it in here a little bit. Just kind of have it inside my little wagon. You know, my first intention when I was started this project this morning, I was going to make it fall and I was going to make a cute little happy fall sign. But after my, you know, after I'm doing it, I'm like, I don't know if I want to, you know, have it just be a fall wagon. Maybe I'm just going to create it, um, you know, for my home and then decorate it for the different seasons. So that's what I'm showing you here. I'm just actually showing you how I created the actual little wagon um, without 
doing it specific for a holiday. And so this is just a great idea to have, you know, so that you can decorate it for the different seasons throughout your home. So for now, I'm going to share how I um, am going to use this here in my home. And so I have some of the sunflowers that I got from the Dollar Tree. Uh, I think you can kind of get these during the fall season, but they're not just necessarily fall, at least not to me. So I'm just going to cut some off and I'm just going to decorate this because I'm not quite ready to decorate for fall yet. So... Why not enjoy this cute little wagon until it's time for me to decorate for fall. So I'm just going to just put some little sunflowers in it uh, to enjoy it for now. And then, you know, I will decorate it for the different seasons. I am just sticking in some little burlap flowers. I'm not gluing the stems or anything. I'm just sticking them in the styrofoam so that I can easily take those out and put them away and decorate for different seasons. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, share it with your friends, pin it on Pinterest. Um, also, I do have a Country Charm community that's a free community on Facebook. I invite you to join if you would like to. Catch me on Instagram. I do share some things over there that I don't have time to share here on YouTube. I appreciate you all so much, your sweet and kind comments, even the negative uh, comments, as well as the thumbs down. Hey, it boosts my channel and it just, you know, lets YouTube know that there's some interaction. All right, guys. Thank you so much. You all have a great day and God bless.